Hi, my friends. Welcome to Blossom Your Creativity. It's Debbie. I am participating in the Welcome Autumn event, and it is spectacular. You don't want to miss it. We have three fabulous hosts. The first one is Dawn, and she's from Shabby Meets Bling. And our second host, my favorite, is Annie from Crafting with Indiana Jones. And last of all is Monica with Up All Night. All three of these ladies are fabulous. Please go over and check out their page. I have their link in my description box. Now, let's see what I did. You know me. I love my fake baking. So, let's see. Flavor number one starting off with some clay some brown clay I made I chose a skin color a little bit of brown a little orange and a little yellow you just keep mixing it until you get the color you like so now I'm gonna take this candy corn uh, cookie cutter and I'm gonna cut out me a piece cut out me a piece <laughs> I cut out a piece of that brown dough looking like a crust color now I've got this orangey color and I believe it was orange peel I started with I took some of that brown um, clay color now I have um, I don't remember what color that was but anyways I'm just mixing different colors to get to where I think a pumpkin pie color would come from um, and it's all up to you, it's your preference. If you wanna make it a different color, you would just add more or less of whatever you have. And here I am, my clay was super sticky, so I was having a hard time rolling it out. So now I have my pumpkin layer and I have my crust layer. So now I'm gonna put the two together and you just wanna make sure that you really adhere it together so that it doesn't separate um, in the drying process. Now I need to make a back end of the crust, uh, the part that comes up. And so I'm just trying to figure out what's gonna work best. So I'm just using the back end of my cutter so that I'm gonna end up with the same width um, as the piece of pie that I've made <laughs> and here I've um, added this piece here and I'm making sure that I really adhere this to uh, the other two pieces that I cut and with my little um, I don't know whatever that thing is that styling tool just made some lines and then off camera I did make some of a similar line in the back of the um, crust and I uh, just kind of folded it up, made it a little bit higher. And you'll see that once I start gluing it. Now I did two different ones, and the first one I started with the Mod Podge, and I have a little bit of water in it just to um, water it down a little bit uh, so that I can disperse it evenly. And you wanna make sure you get in all the little crevices, uh, and this is gonna prevent it from cracking and then also prevent it from separating. Uh, Cause clay does tend to do that if you uh, don't, um, you know, uh, seal it properly so I'm sealing it now at this point and you saw that I turned it over and I just put a little uh, glue on the back or the Mod Podge on the back of it um, with those two pieces connected so after I was doing this I realized you know it's gonna look very milky and I'm losing some of my color so I changed the second one I changed to just the clear glue and I'm just doing the same thing I'm getting into all the little cracks and crevices again this clay will crack if you don't seal it and clay or Mod Podge is the best thing to use. Um, I did like how glossy it looked and it kept the color, so um, I tended to, to stick with that piece of pie versus the other one. So I'm just making sure I seal all the way around. Like I said, you don't want any separation from those two pieces that you put together. So now I'm going to go ahead and roll out uh, what we call a little rope. I'm um, not the best at this, so um, forgive me, but I struggle with this. 
Um, so here I am just rolling these thin lines out. Um, you would think it would be easy, but for some reason um, I take too long and the clay starts to crack. So you have to be very quick and um, not handle it a lot. So here I'm just rolling. I'm trying to make like a little dollop um, using the clay versus using spackle that I have used in the past only because I don't want to get my spackle out, mix it all up, and if I was only going to do these little dollops. So I made two um, off, away from the pie because I didn't want to put it on in case I didn't like it. But what happens is you don't make the size, the correct size. So I think it was too small and too tall for each one of them. But it's okay. I went ahead and, you know, used them anyways. So now I'm just putting, uh, putting some of that uh clear glue on the top because uh, as I was messing around with that um, it glued the Mod Podge dried and so I want to be able to adhere my um, little whip dollops on and then I'm also going to put the glue on top of the whip dollops so that it doesn't crack because remember I said I was handling it a lot and when you stress out the clay it it, it cracks so that um, glitter I was showing you I started off by just wanting to put it on the crust and then I decided I was going to put it all over and that um that glitter is just a really fine glitter I actually got it from a friend of mine who lives in um Australia and she shipped it to me because I really loved it and now this one is just your typical cinnamon off the shelf and you can use this in fake bakes this is pretty much the only thing you can use because the bit the bugs don't like it so I just put a little bit of um, cinnamon on it and that makes your um, pie smell even better so now I decided that I want to put um, just a couple of little autumn leaves on there and you saw that I um, put a little bit of oil in my um, what is this called mold <laughs> and uh, this just helps for the clay to come out so I don't have to um, put it in the freezer because depending on your clay if it's really sticky it doesn't want to come out of the molds um, without effort and usually I would have to put it in the freezer but by putting a little bit of oil in there um, now I'm able to just pop them right out so I'm just I'm using my palette knife to make sure that I don't have any excess cake clay and now I'm just going to pop them out and you see they just came right out no problem so the um, oil is great and it actually just gets absorbed into the clay and there's no oily residue or anything like that so now what I wanted to do was I just wanted to enhance those um, I guess the spine of the leaf I don't know what that's called but um, the branchy looking part <laughs> so I'm just taking a little bit of black um, when I first did it, it seemed like it wasn't too dark but as I was doing it on camera then it was super dark so just with a little bit of water on my finger I was able to just rub the paint off of the clay um, that's a nice thing about painting on clay you can pretty much just get rid of the paint um, with a little bit of water and so once I have this the little spines done now I'm gonna go through with a little bit of orange paint it's all watered down so it's not really really bright and I'm just painting over that with a little bit of orange and that's gonna give me my um, baked baked orange look <laughs> I guess I don't know um, I just thought it was I needed the I needed it to stand out a little bit more from the pie crust itself so that's why I used the orange I hope that makes sense okay now I know you guys are thinking these are holly leaves why are you using these I don't know I just thought it would look really cool because I had these three little um, orange balls and I just wanted to do it and um, so if you guys don't like this don't put it on yours but um, I I like the way it turned out so I just did here those two pieces because they were still wet so it's really easy to um, adhere clay to clay as long as it's wet and now I'm just putting a little bit of that glue and I'm adhering those three little balls they came in the, my um, 
in a sprinkle mix and so I just thought that was cute I mean it's a holly leaf with the holly balls but <laughs> it's gonna go on my pumpkin pie okay <laughs> and so here I am just attaching it to the dollop and I did put some glue you saw that and so once the glue sets up um, it, it it'll stay there and so now I'm going to add my two little um, fall leaves to my crust and as you can see it's still a little bit the same color but the orange does help it so let's see what is number two flavor number two so I had this little cup and this is like a fall looking cup and now I'm taking a foam board and I just traced around it with my cup to get the size of course it's going to go inside the cup so I'll have to do a little bit of trimming but um, you're, this is going to give you a surface um, for you to put your faux um, drink liquid looking <laughs> all right so here I am just making sure that I can get that down inside there what I'm trying to do is instead of having the liquid come all the way to the top like we normally do because that cup has a design I didn't want to cover it up all the way so I am going to go ahead and um, put my liquid further down in the cup as if I had already drank like half of it so here I am taking a toilet paper roll cutting it down and that's going to help me to hold my um, foam round now I painted the foam round with a little bit of orange and a little blood bit of black and then I use that circular motion so it, if you look at it it looks like a circle versus a bunch of paint marks right so then I'm gonna go ahead and because I want it to be glossy I wanted to give it the appearance that it's liquid because liquid looks wet um, it looks uh, what is it glossy uh, so I'm gonna put saran wrap over that piece of foam board that I just painted and that will give it the illusion that it's wet now it probably would work with a clear Mod Podge uh, not clear a shiny Mod Podge but I didn't have any of that I only had matte so I decided to use the um, cellophane instead and so once I get the um, size of the toilet paper roll and the um, uh, the foam round <laughs> the way I want it and you don't really have to glue it in there because it is so tight with that um, uh, cellophane that it it's it kind of adhered to the sides which is great because I didn't want to ruin my cup uh, because I'm probably going to use it for a real cup of um, pumpkin spice latte so as you see there I put my faux whip and I used a combination of the white air dry foam clay with the glue mixed it very very thin and it creates a whip now I'm going to put a little bit of that cinnamon and voila it looks like a cup of cinnamon latte what do you guys think here's the final reveal you tell me what you think of these awesome items that I created I am super happy with the way they turned out and I think I can fool plenty of people coming over for a visit with these two items. What do you guys think? Would you use them on your display? And which one was your favorite? Now I like pumpkin pie, but pumpkin spice latte is even better. I want to give a special thank you to Don, Annie, and Monica for hosting this wonderful collaboration. I truly enjoyed participating. Now don't forget to go over and watch the playlist because there's lots of other fabulous creators who took their time to make something just for you. Now if you are not already subscribing to my channel, please consider. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. I am going to be doing fall and Halloween for the rest of September and come October, 
it will be Christmas all the way. So I hope you come back and see what I have in store for you. And if you're a follow a loyal subscriber already, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sticking with me and always coming back and giving me love and lovely comments. All right, friends, talk to you soon. Come back and see more in the future. Bye-bye now.